Welcome to MegJC 101, a podcast about the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation and our contribution to building a resilient Jamaica. I'm your host, Dani Clark. Come, look at talk. Welcome to MegJC 101. We have so much to catch up on in today's episode. But before we do, let's do a quick refresher on how the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation meets the needs of the people and helps to build Jamaica. The ministry and its dedicated agencies have responsibility for the formulation and implementation of policies relating to the ministry's portfolio areas. And I'm sure you remember all our portfolio areas. Today, we'll be looking at an aspect of the works portfolio that without it, we would not be able to move around as we do. Our road network. Now, we want you to have a deep understanding of what goes into the construction of our roads. That means the material quality and durability. So today, we'll be speaking with Mrs. Orly Nemhard Rowe, Director of Quality Assurance at the National Works Agency's Material Testing and Evaluation Unit. But before we continue, let's take a quick break to hear a word from our sponsor. I don't understand how the roads magically mash up after they're paved, though. It doesn't make sense. There are many ways in which citizens mash up the road. Something as severe as washing off cars on the roadside, improper garbage disposal, burning tires, dumping aggregates and overloaded trucks with the dragging of steels along the roadway can cause serious damage on the roads. Things like that put pressure on the roads. You know what say, a true door. And me know say, NWA do many things than fixing road down, sir. Yeah, man. We're always hard at work doing silent material testing, building inspection, and external project management. We just want the people them just work with it. See, me tell you, NWA are true road now. Welcome back to MegJC 101. We're here with Mrs. Orlene Nemhard Rowe, Director of Quality Assurance at the NWA. Mrs. Nemhard Rowe, welcome to MegJC 101. Thank you for having us. How are you us. doing? Not bad, thanks. So, as we start off, tell us what is the material testing and evaluation unit responsible for? So, the NTU is a unit under the Quality Assurance Directorate which has a responsibility for supporting project implementation through quality assurance testing, um, whether it be for verification of conformance or for technical support. We, do, we also do tests prior to project implementation, which provides data for design of our projects. So that supports the engineering function. All right, so tell us some of the quality control measures that are used by a unit to ensure roads are construct roads constructed meet the high standards or meet the standards that are recognized globally. NWA ensures that roads are constructed to meet high standards through our contract documents. It was recently reviewed. It's something that we do from time to time because it's based on national and international st best standards and best practices. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you know, there are new developments in the industry. So we'll take those into consideration and review the specs to see if they are appropriate to our local requirements. The MTU is responsible for the re review of this document. Mm -hmm. So the role of the lab is to, one, review the spec from time to time and also to provide support in terms of the quality assurance testing mm -hmm. for the design. And as an aside, we also provide what we call private services to the contractor to do quality control testing on the projects. Hmm. And let me explain that So they're that not just part. left on their own. All right. So under the contract, the contractor is responsible for is responsible for quality control. Okay. The NWA's role on a, on a whole is to supervise the works. And one of the areas that we would supervise and monitor is the contractor conducting his tests as required and providing evidence of same. Mm -hmm. The MTU can be contracted by the contractor to conduct such tests. Okay. However, he's not obliged to use the MTU mm -hmm. because there are other private labs out there. Right. So the contractor has the right to choose wh well, whoever want he wants. Mm -hmm. Well, we have an approved list of tests okay. because we do our due diligence to ensure mm -hmm. that the 
private labs out there have the capacity and the tools and they're following best practices. So we have a list of those labs that the contractor can choose to use otherwise. So if these quality control measures are not met, um, or if, if they are met, mm -hmm. sorry, why, why is it that some of our roads deteriorate so quickly? So we hear the people call and say, the road just, 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 um, just fix. Tell me why if we have all of these things in place. As to all government entities, the government, um, you know, we are, we operate on the constraints, fiscal constraints mm -hmm. and the go we have an approved budget and, um, there, there always there's always more need than than resources we try the best to do is to ensure that what we are doing is done in the most cost-effective way oftentimes the engineering solution required to fix a road or to rehabilitate a road we can't afford it mm. so we do what we can in terms of prolonging the life of that road road section or control section as we call it until we are able to afford a better mm. solution so oftentimes the public will see us coming to do what we call remedial or, right. or patching interim, or one of those or, things right, okay. patching our periodic work and they take that to be that way Fix the fixing road. the road it's just a temporary or being done to extend the life of the road mm -hmm. and um, to improve the lives of the citizens within yeah, that time within until that, you're until able, to able to rehabilitate to the road in a more full somewhere right. mm -hmm. um the typical lifespan of a road when a road is um rehabilitated fully the life lifespan of that road is between 10 to 15 years mm. And during that 10 to 15 years, we should be doing what we call both routine and periodic maintenance. Mm -hmm. Routine maintenance is like bushing, cleaning the drains, etc. Periodic maintenance is patching and in days gone by would have done um, interventions such as microsurfacing, which aims to seal the cracks that mm -hmm. might appear so that you don't have the deterioration of the base right. below the pavement. Most of the roads in Jamaica, or quite a bit of the roads in Jamaica, have passed their mm -hmm. their lives. Fifteen years times three, four, five. Yes. Yeah. So we are basically just doing the best we can with the the, with the resources, resources that you have. Provided. All right. So in everything that we do, we try to find out what role the citizens play. And so, what role do citizens play in preserving? Citizens play in preserving our roads. I just drive on it. Um, what? What do I do? I would want to implore our citizens to remind them that it's our tax dollars that are being paid. And therefore, when we block roads and burn tires, when we block the culverts, mm -hmm. when we put construction material on the roads, and especially when it's near the drainage system, you know, those things undermine the, 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 the pavement. Mm -hmm. It undermines the roads and cause them to deteriorate faster. Truck drivers who who do not obey the, the, the weight, weight limits, limits um, that's also another area of concern. It causes rotting in the pavement because, which is um, basically failure of the base because it, it's 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 carrying a heavier load than it was, that designed, it was. Mm -hmm. for, that designed for. So those things um, I would encourage my fellow citizens to be aware of and think twice when you know, they are going about their daily activities. Right. I mean, um, before you said it, I never considered the fact that when, when we're constructing our homes and we decide to put the material, the sand and the marl and the gravel on the side of the road and we mix the cement mm -hmm. right there, mm -hmm. ah, we never consider the, yes. the implications. Yes. So mixing the cement yes. right down the road also... also contributes to the deterioration of the road the cement trucks also for whatever reason there's leakage of the there's cement sp yeah. on uh, spillage on the on the roads even the the garages that that have oil spillage on the pavement really? all of those things undermine the the, the integrity, assault, of, the road. The integrity mm. of the road okay all right so uh, so everything was taken into consideration mm. then in mm. in constructing yes. that road mm. all right wonderful now if citizens have an issue with their road should they contact Stephen? <laughs> well, <laughs> who should they, they, should, they should contact the NWA. There is a, a a line, a phone line. Uh, Mr. Shaw is the one that's responsible for that whole process. 
Um, so you can call any NWA office mm -hmm. and indicate what your concern is. And there, based on what the, the comment is, there's a process as to how those will be dealt with and treated with. So thank you very much. Thank you for having me. And um, I'm hoping that the public is a little bit more aware and that I shed some light on, you know, roadworks yes. and testing on roadworks. Now, Marlene and Junior are your average Jamaicans who have been witnessing the Meg JC at work. Let's hear from them in our new segment, Cackle. We say, oh, in water, the people them are wait. Economic growth, we can't hesitate. Infrastructure, we are elevate. Sustainability, we appreciate. In the environment, we are building nation. Make they see, we are build this land. Kaku with joy as we move along for a better future. Jamaica, we belong. We say, boy, we are cooking and sing. Make they see. Marlene, baby, you look good in a Sunday. Yeah. You know, we take a drive out. Junior. Uh, every Sunday I drive past my shop and ask me the same question, you know. Move, man. But Marlene, today are the perfect day to take a drive out. What do you mean? You know, since the NWA just fixed up the road, and the patrol in front of Massa Johnny had fixed up nice. And me here said, this is not the only road them fix up, so we can drive out far. Remember the big breaker we run at the bend? Them fix up that too, you know? Mm. And them even lay about the asphalt after the pipes were fixed the other day. Like a bike to do a Jamaica go fix some nice. Then not that we want. So we can do all island tour. All center must we can go. But for now, make we secure with a little driver. What do you say? Mm. The National Works Agency is paving the way for Jamaican citizens, bringing people together one road at a time. Welcome to What's Happening Straight Out of the Meg JC where we stay up to the time and make you know what go on in the ministry. From the latest updates to the freshest initiatives, we're there for get Uno the scoop. So make you take a seat, kick back, and get ready for hear all the things that we go on in this segment of What's Happening. First up, big news for our environment. Starting July 1, the government of Jamaica rolls out the fourth phase of its single-use plastic ban. This phase targets plastic food containers and microplastics in personal care products. It's a big step towards a cleaner, healthier Jamaica. And you know, it's also fitting as July 1 marks the beginning of Plastic Free July. Let's help raise awareness about plastic pollution and encourage people to find long-term solutions to this problem. Meanwhile, in St. Elizabeth, a $238 million project is set to boost the water supply for 4,000 residents from Black River to Arlington Parity. To stay connected and updated about the latest happenings in the ministry, be sure to follow our social media pages on X, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Instagram at MEGJC underscore JM. That's M-E-G-J-C underscore J-M. That's all for what's happening. Stay tuned for more updates on how we're building a better Jamaica together. And that concludes this episode of Meg JC 101. We thank you for coming along for the ride as we looked into the National Works Agency. If after this episode you have any questions, feel free to email us at info at megjc.gov.jm or drop us a message or leave a comment on our social media pages. Uh, X, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at megjc underscore jm. Now remember to follow, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm your host, Daily Clark. Thank you.